2001, I was working for Oglethorpe Power, and in that role, I worked with the cooperatives on multiple fronts, but primarily in power spot planning. What new power plants was going to meet their future requirements, and, and at that time, renewable energy was not cost effective to really consider in significant ways for our power supply portfolios for our cooperative. But what we did know that it was an emerging technology and there were certain opportunities in the market that would make sense for us. One of the biggest changes in the business in, in, for renewable energy, specifically solar, is the cost. Cost in manufacturing of the equipment has declined maybe 80% in the last six or seven years. Declining the cost itself has helped create opportunities to bring solar into the mainstream part of wholesale power production for our cooperatives. We had over a hundred proposals in our initial offering for a large-scale project and we ended up with uh, Silicon Ranch who did a really good job of pulling together the whole project and all of the technical complexities and the financial transaction complexities that are, you have with a large-scale project. Over time, uh, one of the things that led our founders to get into solar was uh, understanding the, the Moore's Law of Solar, which is with every doubling of capacity, costs were going to come down 20 to 25 percent. So our founders knew that over the long run, solar was going to become increasingly more cost competitive. Well, I think the phase really started off with what we call demonstration projects, right? It was all about many of us putting in small arrays out in front of our, our offices and in fact showcasing how the cooperative was continuing to investigate and discover the efficiency of a new technology, how it could play out best. Our beginnings in dealing with solar were meager. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, we have a single kilowatt array that's right outside here. And the main reason we put that out there is because we were starting to get some inquiries from our members about, well, what can we expect from solar? And at that time, really all we had was documentation to go by, things that other people had seen. One of the things we wanted to do when we built our arrays was we wanted visibility. We wanted our members to see it, to know that we were involved uh, in renewables, and, and to keep it on their mind that you know that's, that's something that they had access to if, if they had interest in that. So uh, we built it on one of the main uh, transportation corridors here in our service territory. Environmental concerns was probably the, the primary driver of it. You look at the various regulations that were being put into place uh, with regard to emissions from traditional fossil fuel plants. People began to look for alternatives to that that might be a better solution for the longer term. One of the most interesting things about the growth of Green Power EMC really has been in the available opportunity of new renewable resources and cost-effective renewable resources. We have always taken the position that we need to have a diverse portfolio of renewable resources that helps us understand the opportunities in the future. But as solar energy has declined in price, it has become less of an education tool and more of a power supply option that adds value to the portfolio. We want to be the energy solutions provider for our members, whether that's solar, uh, whether that's, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take a look at storage systems, whether that's something they want. We want to be what our members want us to be. We want to provide the services that they want us to provide. You know, to say that we thought it was going to all happen uh, as quickly as it did, we didn't. It, 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 when it started, it picked up momentum and it, um, it just began to move forward and we just kind of jumped on board. This story in Georgia is, yes, it's a story about solar. It's about a new kind of power. It's, in fact, a reinvention of the power of cooperation among cooperatives. Just in the most recent project, they've had 30 cooperatives come together to share and the take from that solar project. I think that's a tremendous story to the value of the cooperative network.